Hi guys, my name is Alex, and I'm going to show you guys how to 3D design the Pokeball, Great Ball, Master Ball, and Ultra Ball. If you like this lesson, make sure you visit the Activity Hero page for the live lessons where I go through the step-by-step -step on Zoom. Alright, so you and your classmates will get to do the uh, tutorials along with me. I do them live and kind of in person. So. To start out, let's bring a half sphere. We're going to go ahead and start with the Pokeball. I'm going to make it red. I'm going to duplicate, and we have two. Okay, so that button duplicate changed it to two. Then I'm going to change this to white. I'm going to flip this over using the mirror function. So right here to the top right hand corner, that's going to mirror. Now I can mirror it left, right, um, back, and forth, but that's a sphere, so it's symmetrical, but so that's not going to do much for us. Instead, I'm just going to mirror uh, upside down. Um, to flip it, I'm going to position, notice how I'm changing my views so I can position and align the two halves. I'm going to leave a small gap uh, in between because we are going to be putting stuff there. I'm going to take a tube by left clicking and drag. I'm going to move the tube up and oh, accidentally click the wrong one. So be careful when you click things uh, because you can accidentally uh, grow and change the shape. So now I have the basic outline of Pokeball. Let's do the little button. So dragging a cylinder, left click and drag a cylinder. I'm going to move this down. Make this a little bit smaller. Let's just say three. I think three is a good number. Uh, then I'm going to make this white like that. All right. Let's shorten this. I'm going to have this kind of stick out a little bit. I'm going to center this into the Pokeball just like this. Okay. And great. Now, instead of doing that process again, I'm just going to go ahead and hit duplicate. So I duplicate it and just drag. Every time you uh, duplicate, it creates a copy of it. You can also hit Control C, Control V. Now, I'm going to move it, I'm going to grow it by two. And the reason for that is because if you guys notice, every time I move an object, it's actually moving by one. So if I make it uh, bigger by two, and then I move it down, it's going to center perfectly together. So the center of the cylinders are perfect together. Then for the last part, let's go back to our image of the Pokeball. Let's make this little black ring around everything. So this time I'm just going to hit Control c Control v on my keyboard. And then... Uh, grow, grow it by two. For some reason, if you notice, it's a 7.5. I want to type in seven uh, because I want to make sure that we're growing by two. And I'll we'll move this down. Then we'll make our final adjustments. It's basically done. So I'm going to move this back. I'm going to move this uh, back about right there and have that kind of stick out. And we have our Pokeball done. So instead of doing this whole process again for the great ball all i'm going to do is highlight everything by left clicking and dragging my mouse and making kind of a red dotted box make sure the box encompasses everything inside then we'll go ahead and hit Control c Control v we'll make a copy of our pokeball let's make it blue uh, oh, sorry i meant let's make the top part blue i'm gonna make it blue let's see i like uh i like the other color and then we're going to look at the great ball. Let's make sure we do these like red bands right here. So the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to bring in a sphere and kind of bring that up. Let's make it red. I'm going to hide most of it inside of the great ball. I'm also going to twist it slightly, just like that. More or less the same. Okay, and that's going to be one of our red uh, kind of bands across the ball. So the next thing is we're going to go ahead and let's duplicate that. I'm going to move this over and let's mirror it to the other side. So this one will mirror it, will reflect it, um, you know, left and right instead of up and down. You know, like that. and then we'll try to position it so that they're about symmetrical to it. So I'm just going to make some checks and adjustments here and see if they kind of work. I think that I think that's pretty even. So for the master ball, let's do the same kind of process. Copy and paste the Pokeball. Let's turn the pop the top part purple. And let's see what kind of purple. It's more of a darker purple. 
So let's do something like that. Then let's do another sphere. And of course, kind of just squish that down. Let's turn this into uh, that color look good. We'll only have part of the sphere kind of stick out, so it gives us a kind of look that we want. You can kind of see when I make the adjustments. Of course, Control C, Control V, and then I'll move the other one uh, so it's about the same. And let's add in a text. Okay, I'm going to change the um, the font. I don't like this font. I like uh, this one. I think. That one's going to give us a better uh, M. Let's change it to white. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to rotate this uh, about, uh, yeah, let's try that. And then we'll go ahead and kind of shrink it down and see if that works. Have it stick out a little bit. Definitely a little bit smaller for sure. Okay. And again, making uh, just some fine adjustments here and there to make it fit and make sure it works. Go ahead and move that down. Move this uh, kind of forward like so, like that. Then we have our master ball. Let's go ahead and check it. Maybe I'll change the color of the master ball because I think it's a little bit, uh... yeah, that's a better color. There we go. The next thing, let's do the ultra ball. Something's going to be slightly different. Let's look at the alt roll. So it's going to be black and then this yellow, um, kind of like an H. So same, much of the same process. We're going to change it black. Now there is one extra step for the master ball, and that has to do with cutting. So I'm going to type in capital H right here. Let's make this yellow. And then we're going to move this up. I'm going to try to position it so that the bottom part of the H is um, the bottom of the, uh, the half sphere, okay? And you'll see why in just a second. I want to kind of try to center it as best I can and kind of moving my, again, I, I move my view to adjust and check. And then let's even this out, make sure that we're uh, at least kind of going to get hard to even that for some reason. Just doesn't want to work out. And that is, that's pretty close. Let's go ahead and, so it's all sticking out. We want to cut that, we want to cut that back. So the way I do it, and I'm going to duplicate the top half of the sphere. So I just duplicate it. I'm going to turn this into a hole. Let's grab a rectangle. Now watch my order of operation. I do this kind of trick a lot, especially in the live classes. So definitely check those out. I'm going to highlight uh, both of those two objects inside. So you notice that the half sphere is a, is a hole. It's going to cut a small hole. It's going to create like an indent inside. I'm going to group it together. Then I'm going to hit a hole. It's very important you watch that, you follow that step. Now I'm going to put this uh, the cavity over the uh, ultra ball, just like that. I'm going to be careful to only select the H, the uh, transparent uh, cube that I made with the hole inside, the half sphere, and everything. And I'm going to go ahead and hit group. You'll see I have like a marking of the H. I'm going to hit multicolor to get my color back. And there we have an ultra ball, pokeball, great ball, and master ball. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, be sure to check out my live lessons that I do every single day. Um, and the free trial classes are on Friday, except for holidays. I'll see you guys in the next one.